Hello there, this is a quick tip in addition to the previous one. So basically, we're going to use the same spline as we have just created uh, today. So basically, we have a joint system and it controls a spline. And uh, what I want to do here is I want to show you how you can do uh, turn how you can turn a page and how you can do this effect with uh, the MoGraph system. So I'm going to use a cloner and I'm going to use a left nerves. I'm going to put the cloner under the left nerves and I'm going to use no looping and I want subdivision per segment. I don't want it for, for now. And I will use my joint spline. And uh, what I want to do here, of course, is I want to do this linearly. I want to have like uh, 10 copies and I want to uh, use uh, the Z axis to spread out the copies. And uh, as you can see, I have something like a plane now. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to adjust this joint goal. And uh, what I will need to do, of course, first I need to zero it out. And then I'm going to use a value like this and use the coordinate system and uh, make a keyframe here and then make a keyframe around here or so. And then the next thing we need to do is to do this on the y axis as well. So we're going to start at uh, zero. Somewhere around here it will be still zero. On the center of the animation it should be on a relatively high value and then at the end of the animation I'm going to use uh, zero and uh, what we have just created as you can see it, it, it is a simple uh, paper folding and uh, what we can do to make this better we can use a plane and I'm going to make this plane big enough for my joint system so basically then that uh, spline is being cloned so basically I have only one joint chain here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my joint system enable the dynamic system and I want to hold the rotation this is very important and then use collisions and add that plane and what will happen as you can see from now on this is not intersecting very good and also if you use uh, a little bit of bouncing and uh, make the radius uh, very low then you will have a very smooth a very smooth paper turning and uh, what I also want to do here is uh, I want to turn that paper uh, to be a little bit uh, more like uh, in the real life so what I need to do is I need to go to my joint spline and go to the timeline and then go to the first frame and uh, bake that object and I'm going to use point level animation and I'm going to create a copy and uh, right now as you can see I have a copy and I'm uh, my original spline will go back to the joint system so I don't need that for now because I have just keyframed this one and what I can do here of course uh, now right now I have an animation so I can uh, it, it doesn't uh, really matter so the joint system is not being calculated this is being baked and uh, after that uh, so I'm going to put this back here and after that what I can do to make this very neat is I can use a step effector and I don't want any scaling but I do want some time offset and uh, look at this I think this is very great so this looks this looks uh, very good and uh, of course if you don't like this animation you can go back to the joint goal and adjust it and uh, use the use uh, the step effector again and other stuff but uh, this is what I wanted to show you so to really ease out look at this you can uh, if you look this closely you might have already seen this on the stairs when you were a kid so basically you can do that type of animation as well so I hope you like this technique and uh, don't forget that uh, you can use this, uh, you can subdivide this plane and then rearrange this joint system so make more joints and have a very smooth animation so this is for demonstrating purposes only right now of course and uh, you can still use uh, so basically if you don't use the intermediate points and if you use 
and uh, also what you can do is you can subdivide per segment so this will be a little bit uh, look a, good, a little bit better and of course what you can also do is to use more clones and uh, spread them a little bit uh, wider and uh, if I use more clones I don't want the subdivision and as you can see you can create uh, very 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 nice effects with that so I thought you might want to know this technique as well and I hope you create some neat animations with it so this is all I wanted to show you for now this was the turning page in Cinema 4D and if you haven't watched the uh, quick tip number 5 which was about the, this uh, joint spline and how you can create this go watch it and then in minutes you can create an animation like this